Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Uni Kasson. Happy New Year guys and hope your year has read so well because mine has read on a very high note. Like I feel so happy and hope you guys are feeling the same way. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and tell a friend to tell a friend. And uh, sorry for the noises that you're hearing at the background, there are kids playing outside. And uh, let's jump on to the video. Um, I started by applying my translucent color from the inner corner of the eye to the outer corner of the eye. And make sure that you blend it in well. Then I went ahead and applied a matte eyeshadow because uh, I wasn't feeling the first uh, translucent color because it wasn't for this particular look that I was going for. I just wanted it to be a little bit popped out. Then I did my cut crease and make sure that you close your eyes so that you don't get creases. But I know when you're applying a uh, cut crease on your eye, it's a bit uh, difficult to close your eyes because you have to see what you're doing then again. But if it's for a client, make sure that they close their eyes because you don't want to have creases. For the eyeshadow, just tap it in and Whatever you do on your left eye, make sure you do it on your right eye and vice versa so that you don't forget. You don't want your eyes to be looking like cousins. They have to look like sisters. <laughs> you get it? And tap it in. Don't drag. Just tap it in. to spice up I added on the outer corner of the eye a black eyeshadow and make sure it doesn't touch the translucent color and brush it so that you don't have harsh lines or it doesn't blend well make sure you blend it in so well and it doesn't touch the translucent color sorry then I wiped off the fallout using my wet wipe. Afterwards, I applied my Garnier Even Matte. It makes my makeup intact, and I don't know why I just love using this particular Garnier Even Matte. And I applied it excessively. <laughs> I feel I look a bit pale, but we're gonna manage. We just have to manage it. I use it as a moisturizer. Then I applied my primer. It makes the makeup to last longer and I love this primer. I've not been paid to campaign about it but I just love this primer. For the foundation, I applied it using a damp beauty blender and make sure that you squeeze the excess water and uh, use the flat uh, side of the, of the beauty blender. It's something that you saw online and I decided to do it on this particular video and I haven't recovered from it. It's a game changer by the way. And make sure you blend it in well. And don't forget about your name if you don't look like two different people. And make sure 
you blend it in and tap tap so that the foundation can sit well on your face um, for the concealer i use any girl which is two shades lighter than my skin tone and tap it in don't drag tap it in Then I decided to bake my face using a loose powder and make sure you, you blow off the excess uh, loose powder. And I, I used my loose powder where I had highlighted and also I wanted to do a reverse contour. Then for contouring I used my contour palette and make sure that you place the uh, uh, the powder on your cheekbone and tap it in I used it on my cheekbone and on my and on my forehead gosh I've forgotten Anyways, then I brushed off the excess powder using my powder brush I, I misplaced my contour uh, my brush for brushing the excess loose powder For the nose, I like it being slim, so make sure you blend it, in, you contour well and blend it in well so that you don't have harsh lines and tap, tap. Then I outlined my lips using a red uh, lip liner. And I also applied my falsies off camera. I'm still not comfortable doing it. I don't know why, but I'm not. I'm still not comfortable. Then I applied my red lippy. This is Vamp by Rich Beauty. I love this. Uh, this red lippy. It's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So superb. And I've not been paid to campaign about it. Um, then I used my compact powder by Fit Me, and make sure you 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 apply it in circular motion, and don't forget about your neck, guys. I repeat, don't forget about your neck. You don't look like two different people.
So I'm gonna set my makeup using a setting spray. And you can apply as however as much that you want. And that was the final look, guys. I still can't believe how flawless this look is. Ooh, oh my god, I'm in love with this look. And thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Oops. Ooh la la. I love it. I love this look.